guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I've just uploaded a video where I've worked on my blank, what I call my blank custom, which is the lioness and cub. And I mentioned that I would show how I created the image. Now, what I did use is mythreadbare.com. I will pop the link down below. Um, it's actually not directly to my Threadbare. You will need to go further into it and I will show you. Excuse me while I dig through everything. Um, Threadbare is the website that I used. So there is quite a few things on here that you can see. It's basically cross stitching. There is some interesting tools in here, I will say, is there is a matching thread, so I can actually look for um, matching colours for DMC if I'm short. But in the tools and calculator, nope, visit the pattern maker. Okay, in the pattern maker is uh, where you can make your diamond paintings. I actually have an account. And um, so yeah, there is a pattern store. I will pop out of that where you can actually buy patterns. Um, I have my patterns, which are ones that I've done, but I'm not going to show you those. What I do have, I'm just going to show you a few things here. Ooh. Okay, hang on. So from here you create, you get your image. So you can actually download it from clicking on there or I've actually already got one out which I thought I'd pull up for you, which just pops in there. You can already see pixelation on that and I will zoom in just on here and see how we can now see symbols. Those are the symbols that you use for um, diamond painting or cross stitching. So what I've got here is, what size is this? So because I've done big ones, um, if you have a look here on the side, this is what it is as a diamond canvas. I think maybe I need to go with something a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to pause here. And I will get back to a small image. Okay, so back to it. Uh, I changed my picture. So what I just need to do is clear the image. And I will get one of my little papa. Okay. <laughs> it's popped in there and it's giving a size. Um, now, this is where this... 125 centimeters by 108. I think that's a tad big for the papa. So let's start. So this is Botox. This is my little baby boy. If we can turn around and change the size of them. So by changing the size here, I can bring him down because he's close up. He's also, he's by dropping him down already, you can see how it's pixelated. Okay. Bring that back so it doesn't look so bad. So that one's 33 by 28. For me, that's too pixelated and probably too small. And I wouldn't say probably, definitely. But what you can see, if we look here, we've got your size here, which will changes from here. There's your, the, your, the, your count of stitches, and if you actually look here, see how on that hovering up, that's that 130? That's the 130. Um, I think that's possibly how many stitches across. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not fully following it, but hang on. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30. So yeah, that's 130 squares across and 112 down. I'm just going to beef that up a little bit. Uh, 
206. I will scroll it back. Okay, so this is what he's going to look like. No, 55. We go one more. Go up a little bit more. Okay, we'll zoom in back. There we go. So this, uh, I've got him as a 68 by 59. So you'd probably order a blank canvas, which is what I did off AliExpress. Um, probably 75 by 65 as a canvas size. Okay, so that's getting the image size you want. From there, you can see here I've got 95 DMC colours. Um, something that small, <laughs> something that size I should say, something that size is better, you're better off dropping your colours down. Yes, you get a lot more detail. Um, just hang on, I'm just going to do a quick check here. Nope, it's not going to do it. Uh, it already is in that number. Okay. But you do get a lot more detail, but you will see there's 10, 11, 12, 15, 17. You can narrow it down, whoops, narrow it down uh, and just make it less colours. Which is where on here are your colours. You can crease it up to, you know, like a, uh, about 152 colours. It will change it, so there's 133 up here. I'll scroll this bar all the way down the bottom and that gives you colours where there's one, two, four, five. Um, the, the, it's not productive doing that. That's just a waste and too many colours. Yes, a lot of confetti, but um, you don't need that many. That's too much confetti. When you look at my um, lioness and cub, it's 103 colours in a space of 100 centimetres across. So drop, drop it down. In here, you have, if you go like other diamond painting companies, maximum of 47 colours. I've got this down to 46 DMC colours, with the least amount being 55 geranium. That'll be that one there. But did you watch what happened to the picture? So up here, see how we've got it? pretty well pixelated. I will, if you go back, I'll take it back up and it's going to refresh. It's not as pixelated, okay, but it is still. But when you're looking at the front of it, you don't really need to concern yourself with that. Um, when you're more interested in the face or the close-up stuff, the background, it doesn't really matter. It's probably the best way to put it. Okay, so what we've got here, 68 DMC colours. I'm going to knock it down a little bit more. No more than 59, so that brought it down to 56. Um, but yet again, it's all up to you and how you play it out, the colour, how you play out with the colours and what you want. Um, it's all up to you. But remembering that when you purchase, if you're not using from your own station, you need to purchase... You, know, you will get bags of 160, 200 of each colour. And if you've got one where you only need you know, five of one colour and you have to purchase it, I think some of the places you're paying about 20 cents for 200 or you have to buy them by the thousand. Yeah, so just it just you look at the cost side of things. So that's setting the size and the colour. So... That, I'm happy with the size, the colour. There's 56 DMC colours. That's still a lot of colours, but um, I reckon that's a good amount of colours. Then on the side here, you've got your thread set. So this is all in relation to whether it's diamond painting or stitching. And to tell whether it is a diamond painting colour, which is our DMCs, and there's two DMCs, what I do is I put the slash... Uh, slash put the marking on the code and sort it by code name okay so if we go back to code that then shows you that 101 we know that 101 is not well sorry I should say 101 is not a DMC color for diamond painting now I'll go back to the 
447 and see it does say DMC 447 but we have code 161162163 we have those codes in DMC if I go DMC 482 now here we go see we've got two four sorry um, <laughs> Okay, we've got two, four, seven. So they are not DMC code numbers or diamond painting. So you want DMC 447 slash CXC. And that gives us all of our diamond painting colours. Yes, B5200 is a diamond painting colour, DMC colour. Whoops, there we go. Let us stop hovering over that. Okay, so that is there. Now... Everything else here on the side, I tend not to change. Um, I've not really watched what it does. Um, hang on. That's just, that is changing um, the, your count numbers. Now let's put that count there. Your strength four four six. It's yeah. I'm. I've never touched with those. Image adjustment. Your sharpness. You can adjust those if we take it up. I've got a more of a grainy look, and you can really see my little prickly boy. Whereas if we drop the sharpness, it's blurring it. I tend to keep it all at the middle. If I bring it up to 100%, see how much more detail. <laughs> you can almost see his individual hairs. And the carpet, the mat that he's sitting on, um, does not look as blurred. Take it back to the middle, see how that looks, just look blurred. So this is where you get to, and one of the ways you get where you're, you're hand charting. You are mucking around playing with this and you can do this for hours. Well, you can adjust the brightness and make it brighter. And then I can bring it back down and darken it, okay? Tend to stick. Most of the time I try and stick to the natural image taken by the photo because you tend to try and work on the photo in the background before you put it in here. But yet again, actually that one looks, there we go. I'm just getting a better contrast on him, mucking around here. Saturation, gosh, he's getting better. Even just by doing this, I'm getting him better. Let's add a bit of warmth. See, no. Take the blue, I want to keep that pretty much in the middle. You do have your sepia. <laughs> and you can make it grayscale, closer to grayscale to all grayscale. Um, I don't want any grayscale at all. Okay, there is some advanced option which gives you so much more mucking around. Your colour matching, never dealt with it, never touched it. Leave it as it is. Colour reduction, yeah. So just that's all you need to do to work on your to do your diamond painting. I've actually have made a few changes there with the sharpness, the brightness, the contrast. I've changed. I have changed it. I don't normally do. Um, now on the side here, still the same size, 57 DMC colours. I think that just changed because I changed the contrast and all that. But on the side here. Now this is a program that doesn't allow it, but there is other programs that do allow it. Um, so what I'm looking at is the code. The What you've got is your DMC code, the name and the count. This here is your legend for what they will look like. Okay. If I scroll down, I'm going to find... That's not too bad. The smallest amount of colours that I've got is 46 okay so I'm just looking through now one of the great things about this is on here 
if I select that I can actually zoom in and identify in the yellow squares exactly where those colors are. You see the bright turquoise 310 <laughs> There's a lot of 310 in there not that much but yeah so that's where all the 310 is um, there's electric blue in there it just scatters in the carpet even okay so this is actually showing you where those colors are why is that something that I'm pointing out I'll show you in bring it back out I will actually show you in um, my patterns to show you the one that I'm currently working on anyway so with these guys you up the top there you can add it to the cart excuse me I'm I'll add it to the cart although I'm not going to purchase this just so you can see go around in circles okay and there's my checkout and I can go and check out um, if I have a code I can use a code and um, yeah they're checkout I can bin that I can leave it in my cart um, it'll stay there for a while they do disappear um, but yeah rightio so on the side here you've got the pattern store I've shown you that there's all your questions your legal side of things do not submit copyrighted material or trademark infringement. Do not post material that you do not have the right to legal use. Okay, so this is what when you create this, create you actually do get your copyright on the image. A um, few other bits and pieces that it says. Okay. You can talk to these guys via Facebook. They do have Messenger. There's a lot of other stuff there. Um, Threadbare, the site, supports the protection of intellectual property and asks users of the website mythreadbare.com to do the same. It is the policy of the site to respond to all notices of alleged copyright infringement. Notice, notice is specifically given that the site is not responsible for the content on other websites that other user may find or access when using the site. Okay, there's some interesting stuff here. Um, in relation to the copyright stuff. And the big thing is, is that's US copyright stuff okay uh, under different companies those copyright that copyright does not apply in other other countries um, actually I might I'm gonna I'm just gonna pop that new new site because I want to show something in there so there is some little bits and pieces about copyright and it's rather interesting to know that these guys you you submit your own images that's that's all it is it is your own personal images it is where I you know if you are going to download an image off the internet think about it somebody has created it somewhere along the line somebody has created so this is where um, the legal side of it applies it's basically telling you do not post material that you do not have a legal right to use this is actually their way of going if you get a picture from the internet and you pop it on here you are liable not threadbare okay so my patterns is the best spot to go this is where my patterns are um, ones that I have designed uh, and worked on yes there's some nice ones in there somewhere I tried them out um, I did purchase so this is one that I've purchased um, slightly differently so that one's got 120 that's 88 so these are ones where I'm looking at doing later um, this one is showing one that I'm working on um, which is here okay 
Right, so this is the image that I am currently working on, which is pretty cool. I can, okay, so this is, there's two ways of accessing this. One of them is you can work, well, you wouldn't necessarily work from directly on the screen. But one of the things I do is I've got some colours here that, um, so this one, there is only one of this. And let's see if I can find where it is. <laughs> uh, can you spot the yellow square? Where is it? All the way down here. Hang on. I've got that single one colour right there, um, which I didn't realise I had that. The lemon is... Okay, so let's see if I can count them. One, two, three, four, five... This is just me, six, seven, and there's another one somewhere, six, seven, eight. Just that's just something that you can see how that some of them are just so scattered. And yeah, they just don't show up in the colour they actually are, which you can see the colour to the side. It just shows up as a yellow, so it's easy for you to find them. But there we go. With all the symbols, it would be nice that we could change the symbols on the side of these. However, we can't, so um, not with this program. There is other programs where you can. But what you are looking at is most of these symbols are so much in the individual side of things that I think I've got one, two symbols that are so close together that the only difference is basically the background colour that, you need, that I need to keep it on. But yeah, okay, so from there, if I go to my patterns, this is the one here. I can, there is a choice of how you have it printed out. You can have it come out as diamond painting and download the PDF and just wait for it to download down here. Open up the PDF and this is where you get all the pages. So there's my front page, the instructions, there's a thread chart. So this is where I use this for the labels. You do find that this doesn't, these, some of these are too wide to fit through the label maker. But now if you've actually seen mine, I have actually got a lot, of more, lot more pages than this um, because I've used a different uh, setting. But that's what it looks like. Excuse me for yawning. Now if I go back to my patterns, I change, what I do is I changed it to the large print and downloaded it. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go. And open that up. So now in the large print, it's still the same on the front page. But now you can see here, there's a lot more pages to it. The red is the center there, the blue is the horizontal center. And this is what I work on, one page at a time. Which is 16 by 10 squares. Okay, so that's where we come there. Um, I will take you back up the top and now, this is my pattern. That's when I created it. There's my copyright by Threadbare, and it is licensed to me and my suburb. Pattern size, um, which is 478 stitches wide, 287 stitches high, or they say tiles, and 103 DMC colors. If you were doing this on diamond painting canvas, there's your size for a diamond painting canvas. But if you were going to do it as a cross stitch, it has all of the details in that. Okay. The instructions. But yeah, I print that out and then I work from the printout with it being in the large print. Every page has license to 
every page has the size and my pattern number that was created. Okay, there is the information on US copyright, um, which some of the US copyright means Australia is actually excluded from some of the from a, some of the US copyright. But that's another matter. So guys, hopefully you found this useful. Where is my picture? Um, I'm sorry, I'm just resetting that back to the original. And I can't find my picture. <laughs> Hang on, my picture is here somewhere. Um, but you can obviously go with whatever picture you want. You just pop it in there and you can work with it. Um, there we go. I just put that one from Cairo back in there. Very pixelated. Well, maybe you can see the sewing work now. Um, 68 by 45. If I up it in size, 142 by 94, which is uh, bigger than I'm prepared to work with. 104 by 69 so that's about a, a good size but with that yet again I would up the colors and it's really funny see how we've got 84 DMC colors I've just put that move that up and it's still saying 84 DMC colors so you know once you get to a certain point you, there's no point adding more colors but yeah there we go guys I hope Hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of a demo and you know how you can do it I mean I've not spent long on that one just mucking around with it the biggest thing in this is the actual getting your drills and getting your canvas and sourcing your canvas from wherever you do um, you can Stitches to stones, I brought a lot of my, I went through my stash and then I went through stitches to stones and got a, um, got my drills through there. I will say you can send this list to stitches and stones or the printout of those uh, pages of this, these numbers. You can send that to them and they will give you a quote and you decide whether you want to purchase it or not. Um, or whether you want them to do the whole the whole lot sorry I'm just looking at that with those ones this is where I'd be dropping the colors down there's still one in there some of it's just pointless there we go 47 DMC colors that's a nice work ball map um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. You got a bit of learning from it and this recording is much better than the old one. <laughs> and I will talk to you later. But uh, yeah, guys, leave me a comment. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you give me a thumbs down, let me know why. Um, really do appreciate the feedback. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to all of my subscribers. Thank you, I uh, appreciate every one of you. And don't forget to hit that little bell down on the bottom corner, bottom right. That says uh, to be notified of uh, when I post something because uh, I do a little bit of different stuff. So guys, thank you for watching and I will talk to you later.